Me Too movement spreading like wildfire after the first social media post back in October. You've probably seen the hashtag on your Facebook feed. This has become a big deal, giving women and men courage to start speaking out. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joining us live with this part of the story. Xavier. Sarah, that social media firestorm really started about a month ago, and since then it's really been picking up steam. Nowadays, you can't go really on any device or any so social media platform without seeing a post involving Me Too. One symbol, five letters, hashtag Me Too. What you're seeing on your screen is far more powerful than a trending hashtag, and its strength stretches across the globe. Tweet after tweet after tweet. More than 1.5 million have used it on Twitter in dozens of different languages. With every second, the number of people joining the movement continues to grow. From famous actresses and actors to everyday people, hundreds of thousands are sharing their stories. I think the shock of the number of women um, who came out and said Me Too has already elevated this. It started when actress Alyssa Milano tweeted, if you've been sexually harassed or assaulted, write Me Too as a reply to this tweet. With that, this photo saying, if all women who have been sexually harassed or assaulted wrote Me Too as a status, we might give people a sense of the magnitude of the problem. Since then, social media inundated with personal stories of sexual harassment or assault. We have not heard people really uh, acknowledging what's taking place and I and I feel that the part of our moving forward is being able to really tell the full truth. The hashtag prompted by Milano also calling on men either with their experiences of being harassed or in solidarity against inappropriate conduct to come forward. Comedian Nick Jack Pappas following Milano's lead tweeting men don't say you have a mother a sister a daughter say you have a father a brother a son who can do better we all can. The hot topic not just taking off on Twitter. Facebook stats reveal millions of posts, comments, and reactions regarding Me Too as well. I think the power of this particular campaign, with it just being Me Too, allows us to recognize sexual violence. So, a step in the right direction, but just the beginning of a long journey to change a culture. I do. I think we're beginning to re create a narrative and an open forum where Women are starting to be able to, to speak up and be brave and fight back. And right now, Me Too is one of the most popular searches online. The people I spoke with really say that this is just the start of a revolution. Reporting live, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte.